Hi everyone, Ryan here bringing you another drum lesson and today's topic is drum set finger technique, specifically how to build speed, control and endurance. So once we get a good grasp on finger technique, it can be a very useful tool in our drummer's toolbox. So today's lesson will be broken down into three main sections, first we'll do control, then we'll do speed and endurance, and then I've got some bonus things for you later on. So let's get right into how to gain control with the finger technique exercise on the drums. Okay, great. So for those of you that haven't really developed the finger technique exercise, it's going to be quite a different technique to using wrists and forearms, which you're probably most likely used to. So when we start off with finger technique, we really want to isolate the fingers themselves and really start to gain the motion. So we're going to start in French grip because this way this allows more leverage of the fingers. So thumb on top, fingers underneath the stick. So the first exercise we're going to do is we're just going to try and get used to the movement of the finger technique. So what I'm going to get you to do is point a finger in the first groove and your thumb is the only point of contact around the stick, okay, just like this. And then we're just going to use our finger and our thumb to move the stick and just try and get used to what it feels like to move. No movement from the wrist, just the fingers. And it's normal that the, the stick might move around or go side to side. We're going to try and go as straight up and down as we can, but a bit of side movement is normal. So, other hand, first finger and thumb, point of contact. So what we're going to do now is generate one single stroke using the finger technique. So with our first finger and our thumb, we're going to go up and down and do one stroke. It should look something like this. Okay, great. So, we want to loop this, so you can loop this to a metronome or just start off with that one to start with. And you just want to do this for a long period of time just to get used to generating. Now, keep in mind that this is the hardest part because you only have two fingers as point of contact. And when we add all the other fingers, it gets easier from here on in. Okay, great. So once we kind of get a good grasp on this, let's add the second finger, which is the middle finger. So what we're going to do now is we're going to keep the first finger and the thumb steady, and they're going to create the fulcrum and our middle finger is going to press down to generate a stroke, like so. Okay, great, so now let's move on to the ring finger. Notice how I'm letting the stick come back before I reset the next stroke. And lastly, the pinky. Now, the pinky can be quite tricky to start, but once you get a good hold of it, it's a pivotal part in the whole hand, so don't leave it out. Here we go. Okay, great. So we want to do this with both hands going through each individual finger to build control. Okay, great. Now with this, I must stress that you must do this slowly, okay? There's no point going, oh yeah, I kind of get used to it. We really want to build control and this is the foundation, so it's really important to do this slowly. Okay, great. So once we get a good grasp on this and we can perform individual strokes with each finger, let's have a go at playing it continuously. So we're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to keep it in constant motion, just as we would with the wrist. One stroke, one stroke, but if we're in constant motion, we're going to keep it going. We're doing the same with the fingers now. So it looks something like this. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. And finally, the pinky. I strongly recommend doing all these exercises for a long period of time at a slow tempo, and this will really build your control. 
Once you feel that you've got some control over the stick, let's move on to part two, developing speed. So when it comes to developing speed with finger technique, I think it goes largely hand in hand when it comes to endurance. Speed is how fast can you play, endurance is how long can you play for. But both of these areas will be improved by just doing repetitions of finger strokes. So when it comes to developing speed with fingers on the drum set, it's really important that first we gain control of the stick. So lots of repetitions at slow tempos with one stroke per beat is highly recommended. So once we get a grasp on this, we're going to slowly increase the tempo in increments of 5 BPM. So we're going to play constant notes with each finger, along with a click, 16th notes, and increase by 5 when we feel comfortable. Here we go. So this is 60 beats per minute, and we're going to use our first finger. Second finger. Third finger. And finally the pinky. Okay, great. So now we're going to use all of our fingers at the same time. You'll feel a lot more power now because all of the fingers are engaged. Okay, great. It's important to do this with both hands. So now let's do the other hand. So this is a great place to start when developing speed. So how do we go faster? Well first of all we have to find out what our maximum speed is. So I would recommend increasing in increments of 5 or 10 until you find one that you cannot do. Once we've found this, we're going to go back 5 or 10 clicks and we're going to work on that speed for a long time every day and over a few days or weeks you'll find that the tempo will keep being pushed and pushed. So one really great way to do this is to do 8 notes per hand and then swap. It'll sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, swap, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, swap, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, swap. Swap. This is a great way to give your hands a break each time while the other hand is working and you can work on both hands at the same time. So let's have a go at that. Okay, great. So I'd recommend starting slow, 60 beats per minute, and going up in intervals of 5 or 10. Find your max tempo, go back 5 or 10, and then work on that tempo until you can get past the next tempo bracket. Okay, so in order to build endurance with the finger technique, we're going to put the metronome on at 60 beats per minute, 16th notes, and play along with one hand for 50 beats. Yes, that's right, 200 notes. Let's go. Other hand. Other hand. 
and so on and so forth. And you can do that increasing the tempo by 5 or 10 beats per minute. Now if you find that you can't reach 50, you get too tired or your technique starts to go out the window, that's fine. Just start with 10, then go to 20 beats, 30 beats, 40 beats, 50 beats, and then you can go up to 1000. So there you have it. There's my take on how to develop speed, control, and endurance when it comes to finger technique for the drum set. Now I do have a couple of bonus exercises for you, so I hope you enjoy those too. So another thing we can do when we're not near a pad or a drum is we can build our finger strength by simply holding the stick horizontal, okay? And we're gonna kinda elevate our elbow up, right? And so we're gonna have our elbow about, about, about 90 degrees. And we're just gonna leverage the fingers up and down. Now, this is incredibly difficult. No movement of the wrist at all. We don't wanna be doing this. That's cheating. Okay, so we're gonna stay completely still and just use the fingers to rotate the stick around the thumb. Now we're gonna do this slowly and we can do repetitions of say 10 or 20. Other side. So this can be a really great exercise for developing control when you aren't near a practice pad or a drum. So another really great exercise to develop your control and speed when you don't have a practice pad is to hit your stick against the bottom of your arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold the stick and just whack it like this. And you can go through each finger and do this. So there's a couple of bonus exercises and I hope you find them useful. Well there you have it, finger technique for drum set, how to build speed, endurance and control. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have, please hit like, subscribe and turn bell notifications on so you don't miss the next lesson. I've created a PDF that contains all the exercises from today's lesson and that'll be available for a free download, I'll put a link in the description. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as fast as I can. Thanks again for watching, I really appreciate it and I hope you have a wonderful week. I'll see you next week for a new drum lesson.